YouTube has now given us access to a question box inside of our stories, very similar to Instagram stories question boxes, where our viewers can type in a comment and we have the ability to see it. It's going to go directly into our comment section. We can also reply to that as a video. Let me show you how to do it. Once you are inside of your shorts on your mobile, you're going to film your clip. And from there, you're going to click your little check box down here. And that is going to take you to a screen where you have a Q&A box. From there, you are able to type that in and you can have a topic that you're going to ask a question on. So give me a suggestion. Then you have the ability on the bottom to pick what color you're going to want. So pick a color that's going to pop against what you are doing. And you have the ability to then move that around on screen wherever you are going to need that to be. And then you are just going to be able to post from there. You have your timeline, you have your next, so you can adjust it if needed, and you can just put it out on your social media. Then you have the ability to, of course, use that as a way to have a conversation with your audience. So you want to make sure you're asking for opinions. You want to make sure you're asking for choice A or choice B. Pick between these two. You can ask them for recommendations. Anything that's going to get them to easily put in a one or two word answer. Keep it very, very simple. And all of those things are then going to go into the comments of that video. So when they type it in the question box, it's not like they're pulling up extra things to be able to comment. They are just answering very quickly inside of that question box. It automatically goes into the comment section. From there, you can then respond to it like a normal comment. You also have the ability to tap on to do a video reply. I will link a video on how to do that down below in the caption for you. And this is going to allow you to use it very much like Instagram stories. So start thinking of ways that you can get them to engage. The more you do this, the better. Don't overkill. So I probably wouldn't do it every single day, but a couple times a week, I would put out a video. I would use that question box and ask those relevant questions on what do you want to see? What, what are you doing today? What are you eating for lunch? They can be innocuous questions like that, or they can be really, really specific to help you figure out what freebie you're going to give away next, or what video you're going to create next, or where your audience is struggling and you can help them with. So use this in a very relevant way to help grow your channel, to learn about your audience, and to be communicating with them on just a parasocial relationship level where you're going to have those discussions with them to help level it up. Treat it kind of like Instagram stories, but a little bit higher end, a little bit more intentional. You can still show up in your pajamas and having those questions with them, whatever you want to do. It doesn't have to be that deep, but make sure there's more of a drive to the conversation you're having with them. Make sure there's a purpose because it does live on your YouTube page. It doesn't disappear like it does on Instagram stories. So make sure it's relevant and it's going to stick around and it's going to last or that you're going to delete these things if it doesn't make sense to leave it more than a certain amount of time. It is not Instagram stories. It is an elevated version of Instagram stories. Let me know how you feel about this down below and stay tuned for more breaking news on things that you can do on YouTube to help level up, build your community and start that conversation with your audience. We'll see you in our daily videos.